It's Tuesday, August 22nd, 2023. I'm David Ellis with the Ellis Report on Capital Media HD 99.3. That industrial action by pilots at Caribbean Airlines has had a big impact on travel across the region. It has left stranded and frustrated passengers in Barbados and other Caribbean territories. Some 93 of the airline's pilots called in sick on Sunday, and though the industrial court ordered them back to work yesterday, passengers continue to face inconvenience. Cal issued a release last night, saying that its operations are expected to get back to normal today, though there will have to be some recovery flights based on the cancellations it has had since Sunday. Weather officials in the Caribbean are keeping an eye on three named tropical storms. Two, Gert and Emily, are to the east of the island chain, but is said to be posing no threat at this time. However, tropical storm Franklin is strengthening over the central Caribbean Sea. On its current course, forecasters anticipate life-threatening flooding in the Dominican Republic and parts of Haiti. You see this white shading and then the black shading in here? That's 150 millimeters or six inches of rain. You see this even green and yellow shading showing up? That's 300 to 350 millimeters of rain. We're looking at 12 to 18 inches of rain. That's a foot, foot and a half of rain. That is going to lead to devastating flooding. The first tropical storm to hit Southern California in over 80 years has been dissipating after record-breaking rainfall. The storm is now moving on to Nevada. All our eyes are on the World Championships in Budapest as Barbadian Shade Williams gets ready to run in the women's 400 meters finals tomorrow afternoon. She got into the finals with a new national record of 49.58 seconds. The government of Barbados reports a total of 629 COVID-related deaths since the outbreak of the disease here. In their latest two-week update, the Ministry of Health says there were eight more deaths between August 5th and 12th, while six people were hospitalized. They also say that in the two-week period under review, 12 people under the age of 18 were diagnosed with COVID-19. The police in St. Vincent have announced a $50,000 EC reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of those involved in the July mass killings there. Five males, including a 13-year-old boy, were killed at the time. Scientists in Britain say that MRI scans could detect prostate cancer in men far more accurately than blood tests. A new study involving more than 300 men aged between 50 and 75 revealed that MRI scans picked up some serious cancers that would have been missed by blood tests alone. These look for high levels of a protein called PSA. But in this study, more than half the men whose cancer was picked up on MRI scans had PSA test scores, which are considered normal. The weather forecast for today calls for a mix of sunshine and clouds with a few brief scattered light showers. I'm David Ellis with the Ellis Report on Capital Media HD 99.3.